so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel and this is Ibtinur so in this video I am going to show you how you can add custom font in your drone theme or in a Shopify website so I think it's very easy task for everyone let me I will show you one by one and after watching this video I think you will be able to uh, do custom font in your website based on every HTML tag and class let's go so this is my uh, dashboard and here you can see I clicked here in themes and in the right side you can see your current theme just click action and click edit code after that you will find all file of your theme and here is the layout file here template file here section file and here some snippets file assets config and local so we need to uh, figure out our CSS file for this drone theme to so click here asset then you will find this base.css and if you are in other theme then you will file theme.css or theme.css and if you are using debut theme then you will find theme.css like that in this folder asset folder just uh, go below and figure out your theme CSS file. So as we are using drawn theme, we need to uh, work on our base.css file. Click here and you need to go below just like that. Then here you need to paste our CSS for font file so in this description video uh, i will give you this font so now what you need to do uh, download your file so we are going to use uh, like this audio wide regular font you just need to download this one like download so I'm just so I am download this file here save So let me download again and download so is downloading and here you can see in theme here is an option add a new asset so we will add our custom font here but the problem is that now it's like it's like another extension which are which are not going to support in our shopify theme so we need to make this font in another extension like you need to go here like uh, let me cloudconvert.com click here then here is the option so uh, you need to select file and go audio wide click here open then you need to find OFF2 okay then click convert and download the file so as I already had one I need to delete this and download again and save so our download is done just come back our theme file so click here from asset folder add a new asset choose file and add 
audio wide regular dot o f o w o f f two okay open and upload asset so go below and check our font file so you now you need to copy uh, like copy this one copy go base dot css now you need to put font name here i think this is very easy task for everyone and paste it here and also you need to paste the name here also okay now you need to click save and view our website so this is the current font and current font style or font family so now you need to add all html tag and class where you want to add your new custom font so i am going to add for h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 tag and paragraph tag okay click save and go back to our website and refresh this one so check this looks very nice and see all font are changed and if you want to change here then you can also change just click here inspect and check out the tag name or the class name so here is the input tag and here is the button tag so you can also need to add here input sorry input tag and button tag okay just click save then it will work for your input and button also see and if you want to change this you need to add label so i think now you understand what need to do and you can also add this tag name or the class name whichever you want you can add here okay dot your class name click save now refresh the page again see it's working so i think it's okay now you can also able to add font style or font family in your uh, website so if in case you want to add different two different custom font what you can do so let's see how we can add two different custom font okay so i'm going to download another font in same way okay in that case i am going to add this font okay just download font family like be like you already did this so you need to follow the follow same procedure okay so you need to extract file here extract and here is the file and we need to convert this file okay and here is the file open and convert the file download this file okay I think it's same procedure that you already done in the very beginning of our video like add the file download 
and here is the file like this one okay open the file and upload asset then go below and here is the font file just copy the name okay go back base.css and copy this one okay and paste it here so in that case now we need to add our second font family name okay i think that's very simple task for you and need to add here also fine now we are going to use this font family for other class or tag so now i am going to add it here okay so i need to figure out the class name c is span okay and this one also span and the class name this one so just copy the class name and under this class under this div i want to change the font style for this so under this class you need to put span and if you want to use this one in price you also can do that okay and if you want to add this font family here you can also do that in this class bottom okay let's go back and click save so i think it will work let me check so it's working you see our other uh, first font is working and our same font family also working for this one and this one i think this is very helpful video for you and after watching this video you can able to add this custom font so thank you i think i will meet you uh, in another video with another topic thanks a lot and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks